Hey everyone, it's Simone Watson, and today is Monday, so I'm here to talk about writing goals, which is a little bit nerve wracking right now because, uh, wow. June is almost over, y'all. Like, where did, when did, what, what? So, um, that's why it's a little bit scary because it's gonna be July, and then it's gonna be August, and when August starts, it's gonna be time for Pitch Wars. And I'm like suddenly like, oh my gosh, that's really soon. So, but it's cool. You know, I am really trying not to get anxious because I actually think I work better when I'm not anxious. So yeah, so to just kind of take it in stride and be like, okay, I've got things to do. I can get those things done, etc. So what I told you guys, I think last week, Yes, I told you last week my plan was to write a first draft of Furlough while Red Letter Law is out with Critique Partners and then get Red Letter Law back and edit it. Um, yeah, that's kind of still... I want to write a first draft for Furlough and I need to just do it. Like, I need to stop making excuses and just do it. Although I have been busy with other things, sort of. But I really need to just like go ahead and do it. Like I've written a little bit of it. I've written bits of it at different times. In total, I probably have about 11,000 words on it. But um, <clears throat> some of that is like rewrites of stuff that I already wrote. Like, you know, so um, yeah, I, I, I need to go ahead and work on that like for the rest of this week. But the other thing that is so kind of tough to me is Red Letter Law because I said, oh, I'm gonna stop editing it and send it to the critique partners and then get it back. But there are still things nagging at me. The reason why I gave up, like not gave up, the reason why I gave it to the CPs is because I was trying to fix it, but then I was like stuck. Like, I don't know what to do next. It feels kind of like when your car is in like a, this is like hypothetical. I haven't actually been in this situation, but when your car is in like some mud and you keep like getting like unstuck a little bit and then stuck again and unstuck a little bit and stuck again, that's how I feel with Red Letter Law. Like, okay, I kind of know how to fix it. I kind of know to do this, but then I'm like stuck. And so it feels weird because it's with these CPs and I don't want to stop them from reading it because I'm like, oh, let me just change everything. Um, I do want to know their opinions, but then I'm going to make these changes and I, yeah, so I don't know, but there is just this dilemma, this dilemma of like, do I wait to see what they think and like how to make these changes and then make these changes or do I try making these changes now, but then the CPs have an old version, it just, I don't know. And then I'm not even fully certain how to make these changes. Uh, it's just, it's, 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 it's tough, but it's okay because it's all a part of the process. I have to try and remind myself it's part of the process. Plenty of authors have been here and, or somewhere like here and it's, it's okay. So, um, so there it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and relieve some stress today by either reading or writing furlough. Um, and see if that helps me to feel less stressed out because I just don't want to approach Red Letter Law with this like, ah, like kind of mentality of like fear being the driving force. You know what I mean? Like it's, it sounds like, it may sound weird, but no, I think it's like true. It's like, it's like, I really want to go into it with a positive attitude. I don't want to resent this book because I am making myself work on it when I'm like super, 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 super stressed out and upset. So there we go. Um, but I also forgot to take into account last week that I will be out of town for a lot of July. So if I could get my new draft of Red Letter Law done, like before the week, like by the end of the week after next, that would be helpful because, but we'll see. So whenever I can get the, the next draft of Red Letter Law done, I can do that, but I don't know, I just wanna kinda of find a balance between that and writing for a little. So yeah, that's kinda of where we are. So my goal for this week, I guess, it's gonna be a little abstract, but my goal for this week is to 
keep getting things done without getting in an extremely anxious mindset. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but in May, I kind of had a hard time with my physical health. Um, and I think sometimes my mental health affects that. Like, it may sound weird, but I think, like, the stress can kind of... So, not that all stress is bad, but just, like, that I have to remember not to put things out of proportion. Like, it's not going to be the end of the world if I don't finish the first draft of furlough before I go back to Red Letter Law. Like, it's not going to be the end of the world. I just have to calm down and kind of take it in stride. Um, I also would like, let me see, by the end of this week, let's say I'd like to have, like, Let's say I would like to have something written on for a little more than what I have. Because I have like 11,000 words. Like, I would like to have more than 11,000 words. Like, it's just let's just write something. And I would like to have a clearer idea of where the revisions for Red Letter Law are actually going. Um, I just need to kind of streamline toward whatever that goal is with Red Letter Law. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. And that's pretty much the end of my writing goals for this week. I hope it doesn't sound really boring. Um, I would love to tell you my goals for July as well, but I don't really know. Everything's sort of up in the air right now. So, but basically my, my general goal for July is going to be to get ready for Pitch Wars. Um, yeah. So that's kind of going to be my main thing at that point, which is going to mean, I guess, more red letter law edits. Um, okay. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Um, Oh, I also, yeah, I'll talk more, I don't know, I'll talk more about furlough at a later date. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.